In this video, I'm going to teach you how to write a restaurant business plan. Make sure you stick around until the very end to find out how to get my free ebook on how to successfully open a restaurant. Everything in life needs planning, whether it's a, a small birthday party or constructing a building, each takes needs to have some sort of a blueprint. Even experts who have been in the field for a certain amount of time agree that having a plan is, gives a little idea of what needs to be produced. If you are someone who is looking to open a restaurant but has no clue where to begin, you have come to the right place. Writing a business plan is the next best possible thing you can do when you are intending to open up a restaurant. If you need guidance on how to go about it, carry on watching on as we will teach you just that. Hi, my name is Massimo Montone. I am the founder of Restaurant Keys and creator of the Restaurants Launch Roadmap online coaching program, where we take you through the seven fundamental stages, a step-by-step -step process that will help you clarify and create a perfect pre-opening plan. I'm blessed to have been working for the last 20 years with some of the most influential people in the industry today and have been able to crack what those seven fundamental stages are and why you must focus on them. You'll find a link below for more information. Ideally, your restaurant business plan should include the following topics. One, executive summary. First and foremost, you should have an executive summary at the beginning of your plan. Don't know what it is? It's okay. We all been there, I know. An executive summary is a, a short, concise summary of your entire business plan. Basically, you should write it for someone who does not have a lot of time but wants to know everything about your business plan. So maybe you can include a little bit of everything, but please skip the boring details. Number two, restaurant's vision and concept. This is like a, a premiere of your restaurants. Readers, investors, or even your team should get a flavor of what the restaurants is all about. Here you can include logos, your color theme, what cuisine inspired you to take this leap, or just a simple story of your childhood dream. You can include your choice for interior, the staff's clothing, your location, or maybe even add the music suggestions. Moreover, your restaurant's name should be such that it inspires people, or at the very least, it makes them feel something. It should be catchy and should have a niche ring to it. And number three, through market analysis. After you are done with the above two, you need to provide your readers with why your restaurant has a competitive age of others. Why should people come to your restaurants and not eat somewhere else? If you are doing something different or have a unique menu, you should include that here. Make it sound like your restaurant is the only one in town offering such a services. Your market analysis should ideally be done before you set a business plan. And number four, introduce the team. Of course, you cannot do everything on your own. This is why you have a team who should be included in this business plan. Give a brief description of your team and why they are important in achieving your restaurant's dream. You should be able to convey how many people are involved and what positions they will hold in your restaurants and its management. Perhaps you can begin with emphasizing the value of a team, culture, and perhaps it as one of your aspirations. An investor who reads your business plan will need to know if you are not single-handedly managing it or delegating tasks. Before moving on talking about target audience, let me ask you to subscribe to the channel. We upload weekly videos on anything and everything that has to do with the restaurants industry. So click the subscribe button somewhere on the screen now. Number five, target audience. Any business which does not have a specific 
target audience is trading in muddy water. It's okay if your target audience is everybody, since it's food, but you should try to define it as much as possible. Maybe the location where your restaurant is can be count as a target audience. However, if your restaurant only targets youngsters, then mention why you think this is suitable demographic. Maybe it has to do with the, the menu or it offers a gaming zone, etc. If location and demographic don't help, then maybe try to define your target audience through physiographic factor. This means that you define their lifestyle and why they would choose your restaurants out of other options. Number six, menu. The menu is the most important part of your business plan. After all, it is a restaurant's business plan. You should have a dummy menu with prices and deal and deals so that the readers can get an idea of what to expect. And number seven, financials. While the financials can be intimidating, they shouldn't have to be. You can hire a consultant or an accountant for handling the financial part of the business. But ideally, you should include the cost of opening a restaurant business. This means that your readers should know if the location is rented or leased, the cost of equipment, employee pay, cost of building raw material and marketing cost. You should have a rough idea how big or small your restaurant is going to be. Ideally, people hire an accountant associated with the restaurant industry. They can provide their expertise and give you key projections such as break-even, profit and loss statement, and capital requirement for the budget. Let me know in the comment below if you do or you don't know how to read a profit and loss statement. And number eight, marketing plan. Everybody gets by with a little help. After all, this is your labor of love. So you definitely want the best for it. A good marketing strategy can get your game up. You can choose social media and do the marketing yourself or hire a PR agency for it. You will have to justify whatever strategy you employ to your investors. You should include your plans to have a soft opening or that you can get an idea of what customers liked or dislike and what can be further improved. The bottom line is that opening a restaurant is a big deal itself. But before your restaurant's dream can take off, it is important to plan effectively. Since this is an itinerary process, it will serve you from a necessary cost, make you rethink certain decisions and possible add a new item on your menu, or simply just provide you with a fresh outlook of how it's going to turn out. Not to forget, you can use this business plan for your investors too. So if you want to launch a thriving restaurant business, get to planning. If you are unsure of how to write a restaurant business plan, there are many templates available online. So to learn more about anything and everything that has to do with the restaurants industry, check out our blog on the link below. Follow us on our account on Instagram, restaurants.keys. You'll find various restaurants trade secret and you can seek professional assistance from one of our experienced restaurants consultants. Don't forget to like this video, if you did, or if you didn't, just dislike. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now is a good time to do so. Also, share the video with your friends and co-workers by clicking the share link below. Earlier, I promised you how you can get my free book on how to successfully open a restaurant. And if you're still watching, it means you are enjoying the video, so you will really enjoy the free ebook. Simply click the link below for a direct download. And until next video, stay safe, be happy, and make a difference.